Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail, patch 7.0 MSQ, or main scenario questline, or main story questline. In the last video, we finally made it to the fourth zone, to Shaoloni. We saw Stinian again. We met a friend of Erinville's mother. And we found out his birth name, which I cannot pronounce for the life of me. We also saw that Namika has gotten a bracelet stolen, so we're trying to get it back. And that involved a poop collecting quest. I'm still mad at you for the poop quest. Alright, now before I start the next quest. I would like to say I did get the Dragoon up to level 95. And I would like to do a bit of MSQ with the Dragoon. Just to have a bit of experience put on to the Dragoon. So let's see. Blowing smoke. Erinville's gaze is fixed on the bandit's hideout. A fair number appear to be gathered inside. Now is our chance. I will keep watch from here. The attractant, I leave to you. Toss it into the bonfire and in the middle of town. The Yahe Heseya will come soon after. I'm just going to call them pterodactyls. The pterodactyls. Daybreakers. You're stuck in a cutscene. Right, let me be stuck in a cutscene. Foul smelling attractant. A sack of ingredients that, when burned, is guaranteed to attract pterodactyls and leave near everything else fit to wretch. Alright. Cutscene time. You can see the poop. Run away! All right, just had to shut the window there. What's that smell? It's shit burning. That is the smell of shit burning. Oh, that reeks. What did you put in the fire? It wasn't me, I swear. I well, always just have the bottom gear, don't they? Ugh, did something die? Someone wanna explain that ungodly stench to me? You've got the bracelet. Well, put it out then. Boss, uh, over there. Huh? But what in the world? Ah! Run for your lives! Pterodactyl attack! Hmm, so the smoke's what drew them here. I swear, when I find out who did this, I... I'd say our friends have stirred up enough trouble. Time to retrieve the bracelet. Uh, we, we can't, it's on him. 
Oh, we're going to confront him. All right. Hey, what's going on out there? I'm still in here in case you've forgotten. Sit tight. We'll be back for you. What? You gotta get me out of here, man. You gotta get me out of here now. They're gonna kill me. I'm begging you, please. Shh. They'll hear you. Hi. Shit. Who was that? Hey, are you going to help me out or what? Ah, the priceless must wait. Let's break him out and withdraw for now. All our poop collecting. Ruined. Damn it, desperate man. Thanks, I owe you one for a moment there. I thought I might actually... Thought you might actually leave me behind. Well... All that effort and naught to show for it. Well, we know who the leader is. Sorry about that, but damn, I didn't think anyone would have the balls to take on the vulture. No need to apologize, we were planning to save you. Eventually. Really? And I don't even know who you are. You secret admirers of mine or something? Heh <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. But I do appreciate the help. This man they call the Vulture. I've seen his face before. Was he not the officer you confronted in town? A one and the same. When he's not masquerading as a gang leader, he serves as a deputy chief of the Dusk Watch. Or the Dust Watch, I should say. That would explain why the bandits are so confident they can avoid capture. They're trying to get back something from the vault. You're trying to get something the vault just... You're trying to get back something this vault just stole, right? Let me help. It's the least I can do after you bailed me out back there. I have an idea where he's hid his cachet. Reckon he's headed there now, too. We can go together. I've got a score to settle with him myself. I don't doubt like you do, but we still need to know what it is first. Will you tell us? Right, so. Those bandits are... Tornatenyawi? They're called the Dawnbreakers, and it was me and my friends left bound of the group. Oh. But... But it wasn't a gang of cutthroats. Not back then. We just wanted to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by the mining concerns, folks who needed to help to even the odds. Are we getting an echo? That was three years ago, and whenever we found someone scheming in the shadows, we settled matters the best way we knew how. With a duel! I see. By the old laws, anyone who loses in a duel must be held to account for their crimes, even those in positions of authority. I see what's going to happen here. And we made damn sure they did every time. Before we knew it, our small band of fee friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Then about a year ago, the Vulture and his folks showed up. They got the better of us and took over the Daybreakers. Everyone was afraid of him, so they did his bidding without question, but when he showed them how they could make a fortune easily, that was when he really won them over. Now the Dawnbreakers is nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on the people who created who it was created to protect. I can word. Eventually. <laughs> I talked over with my friends, Quikane and Lirune, and we all agreed the only way to stop him was to challenge him to a duel. And he accepted. I still remember how he gloated that he'd win. But when the day came, he showed up at the Dust Watch and had my friends arrested on charges of robbery. As if that wasn't enough, he set their bail at a price that no one could ever hope to pay. With them locked away, there was no one left to help me. None of my old friends from the day 
from the Daybreakers, and certainly not the Dustwatch. And that's why you're ready to challenge him in the middle of town. I was until that guy with the spear stopped me. Estinian! No sooner had I stepped out of town than the Vulture's minions caught me by surprise. They took me prisoner, then, well, you know the rest. You said the Dustwatch would be of no help. Are they all w working for the Vulture then? No, not all of them. The Sheriff, Kemaka. He's as honest as they come, a staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting and doesn't suspect a thing. If it were my word against the Deputy Chiefs, who do you think he'd believe? Uh -oh. Well, if he knows where this vulture keeps his spoils, perhaps he can help us recover Namika's bracelet. What do you think? Choices? For what it's worth, I have a plan, but I can't do it alone. A plan? All I ask is let you hear me out, but not here. I'll be waiting for you at She... Shenewezi Springs. She Shenewezi. Alright. I guess we can decide what to do after he gives us the pitch. So are there no either current side quests? No, not yet. Alright. I'm grateful he could take us to the deputy chief, but it will all be for naught if we're seen. Oh no. Good, you're here. This is where he hides his loot. I expect he'll show up soon. Da -da 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 -da. It can be long now before we who dare show us up. Law of the land. Aaronville looks expectantly for we who dare. Mild banana blend. All right, we got duel. Well, well, look who it is. Storing stolen goods here seems risky, but I suppose there's an option for someone of his authority. Yeah, he moves his spoils in cerulean barrels, where no one would think to look. They're mixed in with regular shipments of fuel to Tuliolal, where they're sold off. And they're just fighting over there. You said he stole a bracelet of yours, right? If he knows you're on his tail, chances are he'll be eager to get what he can for it. But I doubt he trusts a lackey with that business, given the provenance of the piece. No, I'll wager he's not laying that bracelet out of his sight until he's got coin in hand. I wasn't sure what to make of you after... I will never be able to pronounce these things correctly. But I'm glad to see you're more than an impulsive child. Ah, well, not my finest hour, I'll admit. But there's a lesson in that. The vulture's a slippery bastard. If we're going to catch him, we need to butt him into a corner with hard evidence. That's my plan. First, we need to lure him away from here. Over to Hut Satari would be ideal. For that, I need one of you to help me. All right. Let's all buy time for the other to search the barrels for any stolen goods. And using that, we'll expose him as a criminal. There's no way to tell if we who is carrying the bracelet, but regardless, there'll be time enough to find it once he's behind bars. But won't he simply feign innocence? Oh, he'll try, and that's when I'll challenge him to a duel. You mean I'll challenge him to a duel? A duel? That approach didn't work out so well for your friends, as I recall. 
True, but unlike before, I'll challenge him in front of the whole town. That way, he won't be able to wriggle out of it like before. Every man, woman, and child of the wilds understands the importance of duels and the old laws. The deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. But wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as if we'd be using live rounds, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's important is that I get him to duel with as many witnesses as possible, and when he loses, and he will lose, that'll be the end of the vulture. The plot... the plot... the plan is not without flaws, but what do you think? Um... I say let Zekawa have his duel. There wasn't really an option to deny him. Thanks. I sure was lucky running into the two of you. You won't regret this, I promise. If you're satisfied, then so am I. And you could count on you. I was seen in Dona Den Yawi, so it's probably best I stay here and search the bowels. Then you're with me. Tell the vulture I tried to rob you, but you managed to overpower me. If he suspects a trap, he won't be able to resist taking the bait. Even if he suspects a trap, he won't be able to resist taking the bait. All right. You want to find your friend. You want to buy your friend as much time as possible and make your way to that place. Once you've got the vulture there, I'll take care of the rest. All right then. Let's get to it. Oh no, it's this quest, isn't it? It's this kind of quest. Oh, no, it isn't. Lovely. Hello, person I've never seen before. The... The pterodactyls were likely that Chitone is doing. What's his angle? Hmm. And then there's the brat. It's the first time I double him. Uh, where would there's oblivious to your presence? Perhaps the gentle poke will get his attention. Poke. Hmm, what's this? Ah, an unfamiliar face in these parts. Ahem. Have you need... Have you need of the dust watch, miss? What? Sakoa tried to rob you, but you apprehended him? I see, so desperate was he to see his friends free from prison, he turned to a life of crime. How awful. You're my sincerest thanks, miss. Might I trouble you to take me to him? This now, accompanying you, alright. Where am I going? All the way over to... Morvasanshaya, alright. Well, I suppose if you're here to talk... <laughs> Not like this is an appropriate time for me to play tour guide, but if you insist, Shesenwazi Springs is home to a thriving cerulean mining industry. The prospect of easy coin has attracted some undesirables, though. You're going to be my tour guide throughout all of this zone. <laughs> oh, imagine if I could take him there. Oh, that'd be funny. Alright, he's just hiding in there. Survey the designate the, des the designated location. Alright. I thought a day of rest would help me. <laughs> Is this the place? I don't see him. Uh just a little further. I see. Very well, lead on. Tour guide, tour guide, tour guide. Are we really bringing him all, bringing him all the way to town? Ooh, pretty. Tell me about this place. 
There's gold in these fields. Blue gold. Ahem. Best be wary of the beasts in these parts. They may prefer to snack on cerulean. But for you, I reckon they'd make an exception. Oh my. Where am I taking him? Dun, dun, dun. Come on. Diagro. Diagro, thank you. Oh, wait, I don't have the fan on, do I? Is this the place then? Sorry, I'm still learning my way around. Is this some sort of joke? Of all that, let's keep moving. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, heard that I was getting comfy and hit the the desk. <laughs> okay. Now this looks like a spot for a solo duty. Diagro. This better be the place. I left him tied around a big rock. Must have been a different rock. My patience is wearing thin, miss. If he isn't at the next place we stop, I may be forced to do something you and I would both dearly regret. Don't frame me for a good time. Teach me about the cactus. Unless you'd rather I feed you on raw needles and all, cut the church out. Oh, come on. All right, where where is he? Cutting time. I don't see him anywhere. Where is Sokoa? Tell me where he is or I'll bury you in the same grave. Confound it, he must have escaped. That's it. I've had it with these games and I've had it with you. Hey, where are they? You looking for me? If you want to place me under arrest, you'll have to work a little harder. You'll be begging for a cell by the time I'm done with you. Ooh, this music. Is it voice? I have footsteps. Then music. Wahoote! Finally caught up to me, I see. It's voiced! Lovely. Well, well, 
If it isn't our young outlaw. You've taken up stealing, I'm told. It can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. In my bag! So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This barrel was at Shesenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Tuliola. The Landsguard would have presumed it part of the regular Cerulean shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its contents sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? As fortune would have it, I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it, it was from the vow of resolve? Oh, you've seen it then? No, n no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. Oh, what do I pick? Oh, you would have had to arrest yourself. Oh, come off it. I saw you for the bracelet. We have sass. What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? It's a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old fashioned way. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean. Wahute, I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. Yeah, have at it. Let your pistols do the talking. Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse then? <laughs> A baby alpaca's got more fight than you. All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. Come on, Sakawa! Give him what for! Shouldn't we stop him, Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch.
you little shit! Looks like you've gotten slow in your old age, Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk. I apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. But we Hute drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. As are your friends. Ah, uh, you're not such a bad guy after all. Just a man of the wilds, like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you gonna do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Why, what I've always done. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old-fashioned way. Here, this was Vauk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? Yes, a person very dear to her. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the vulture. Man, that was satisfying. Shame I couldn't have dueled though. Ah. Uh ha -huh. <laughs> that was a pretty nice shot, right? That ended up being rather more complicated than expected, but all's well that ends well. Phew, finally it's over. I couldn't have brought him to justice without your help. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. <laughs> that was a pretty nice shot, right? Level 95, we're still on level 95. Alright. Aaronville is, rece is received, is relieved to see everything set to rights. Now that we have the bracelet, let us return to Shishenrezi Springs. I'm probably spell still mispronouncing that. Will you be staying there long? I'd like to give you a proper thanks after I find my friends. We weren't planning on it, but there's no need to rush. We'll see you at the Springs then. And now we've got the Ether quest lines. All right. I'll catch up to you as soon as I've taken care of my friends. All right. I don't think I've actually gone in here. I mean, <laughs> going back to no springs. Not without one more drink. <laughs> one more. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, 
Damn fun there, buddy. I thought you were fangled for a second. Alright, I'll be doing no side quests off screen then. I'm sure there's some really good side quests with some good story. But I want to get through the MSQ. <laughs> Alright, Namika! They got your bracelet back! They will understand. They were understandably worried, but I've told them of what happened in that place. Our minor adventure made for quite the tale. Welcome back, I'm glad to hear those bandits got what they deserved. Anamika. My bracelet, thank you. Thank you so much. This is more than just a gift. It is a part of me I could never hope to replace. Truly, Wuklamat is blessed to have such devoted friends. Well, I wouldn't put it quite that way. I prefer to think of us as more as long-standing. Aaronville, I'm going to kick your ass. Your friends, not acquaintances. <sighs> I have a bad history with that word. One I'm not going to go into. Regardless of how you choose to describe it, there's no denying the depth of your bond. Well, I'm sure you'll continue to do so. Can't say I'm surprised the deputy chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew something wasn't right about him. An easy claim to make with the gift of hindsight. There you are. The real daybreakers have arrived. I'd like you to meet my two best friends, Quikana and Liwine. If it wasn't for you believing in Sakawa and doing what you did, we'd still be locked up. You have no idea how satisfying it was to see that bastard put behind bars. We never gave up hopes that Sakawa would find a way to get us out. He always was the best of the daybreakers. Glad he was able to convince you to go along with his plan. Unfortunately, our group is smaller now and lacking in strength. Besides, some outlaws might see us as an easy target. Even so, if anyone should give the dust watch the slip, the day of breakers will be there. We'll train day and night, so no one will get the feather of us ever again. Isn't that right? Right, and you'll teach us how to draw your pistol so fast, won't you? Well, we won't need a duel if all goes as it should. But on the off chance it doesn't, we'd best make sure everyone can match or beat my speed. Well, yeah, you're a great debt, and one of these days I'll be sure to repay it. Maybe in a dungeon. On that, you have my word. Until we meet again. Do we have a dungeon coming up? Um... If you'll excuse me, I shall find a quiet place to rest. As I'll be here a while yet, though, do let me know if there's any way I can be of assistance. Were you not planning to take the train home? Oh, train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? Uh-oh. You mentioned no such thing. Something about the tracks being damaged in the last quake. The tunnel was closed as well. The tunnel? An earthquake? It must have happened when we were still down south. There have been quite a few tremors of late. And one rather large one struck not long before you two arrived. I can only hope no one was hurt. Earthquakes. At any rate, if you want to know when service will resume, you could speak with the station master yourself. Let's do that. The, sit <laughs> the situation. The station is just over there. I had to ban a couple of people today, haven't I? Ah, it's just bloody bots. Surprise the targeting. <laughs> the targeting people with like zero or one views. 
Uh, hello, railroad engineer. One day I'll get through a sentence without stumbling. I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do with the tracks as they are. Uh, should I get... Uh, how have I even forgotten... I am really mumbling my words that badly, aren't I? Uh, how about we get Godbert to sort out the rails? I'm sure he'll do it just fine. <gasps> he better suplex a train. If he doesn't, I'm going to be disappointed. It seems people aren't too happy about the train delays. I'm so sorry, but That's nice, we're not sure when the train will be running again. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. Please don't tell me you've come to complain too. <clears throat> we heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. It's time consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. Made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. I have to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Though, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, we'd be truly tremendously grateful. Thank you! Thank you so much! I'm Shenza, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. There they are! That's them! The two volunteers! Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Natoikwe. And this grizzled mug is Zofia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Something the matter? Oh my god, it's the trolley people from the first. <laughs> Would you happen to be a fan of trolleys? Trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. <laughs> right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. Wait, is that his wife in the first? The one who... Oh. Oh. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties. 
so it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. Come on, no time to waste. Didn't think I'd have that kind of call back. Right, we've got work to be getting on with ourselves. Holy. With your help, we've got the railroad operating again. Then you'll have the chance to see our engine in motion. It's poetry, I can tell you. We'll be ready to handle that timber when you and the chief get back. Found no small limber. Oh, no small number. Live in Shaoloni. I must confess that I've never visited the home of the Heads Arrow. As they live, as they largely live in accordance with the older traditions, I suspect they may have a dim view of the railroads. Ugly. Da -da 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 -da. One of nature. Anvil is eager to be off to the. to the plane. Like I am going to pronounce that. Come, let's find Walika. There's another station on the way, so be sure to drop in. The train will be in the depot, but you can still see it from the outside. I'm still taken with the sleek design of the head end myself, though. <laughs> if you peek through the windows, you can probably catch a glimpse of... Enough jabbering, Shenza. Thanks to these two, we finally have some real work to do, so let's get to it. I'll see you later. I suppose there's no harm in stopping at the station. It's on the way after all. Alright, hopefully, unlike Gollum all, this train works. How is he keeping up with me? Easy. Riding map! Ah, there's a train. A belly beam out. I must confess, the train is an impressive sight. How easy it must be to ship goods throughout the wilds now. Right, uh... That guy should be northeast here. Let's continue on. To leave, alright. Wait, what level are we on it? Level I... Oh, this is... Alright, I might want to switch out to the Paladin then. Such beauty, I know more than a few gleaners who would love to explore this land. Alright, so now that we're on 96... Back to the Paladin. Ah, there you are. The village is just up ahead. Truth be told, I've never had direct dealings with people of this place. But I do know that the traditions mean a great deal to them, as does the land. Is it voiced? No voice. Ah, such lovely clean air. Feels like a treat after the overpowering powering cerulean of the Shishen Springs. The waters nearby are just a supreme. It's a paradise for people and animals both. 
I'm glad you appreciate the blessings of nature as we do. Greetings, travelers, and welcome. I am Huato, chief of Mehuahetzon, and this is my son, Shepoto. A pleasure to meet you. I thank you for the warm welcome and apologize for our sudden intrusion. I am Walika, station master of Zaktural Railing. The recent earthquake has damaged our tracks and we require timber to make repairs. This is Marishna and Erinville who have volunteered to assist us with the restoration effort. Hello. You have a most curious air about you, of oil and steel, tanned leather, and the faintest tint of meadows awash with unfamiliar flora. I gather you are not from these lands. I hail from Eosia. Truly, I would love to know more about you and the lands you have seen. I'm told your people hold your traditions in the highest, yet I gather you are curious about those of others as well. But of course, nature is boundless, as is our love of her lands and her children. The Hetzo, in particular, have done much to guide our way of life. We are to hunt, to gather, to lay our heads. The Hetzo teach us all these things and more. It is for that reason I believe that we are attuned to the shifting winds around us. I see that word, Hetzo, it means leader of souls. In the Hetzaro tongue, does it not? It does. There are many creatures revered as a Hetzo among the Hetzaro. Here we look to the Ronique for guidance. However, as you may have gleaned from our use of Etherites, while we are committed to our traditions, this does not mean we reject all outside influences. That said, there are certain things that give us pause. Well. We will finish you with the timber you require, but first, as neighbours of this land, we ask you indulge us in a discussion. We'd be glad to, of course. Wonderful, we do not often receive guests come such a long way, and my son is always delight always so delighted to hear their tales. Now, if you'll follow me. Something tells me I might see the source version of a lot of people in this land. Although I have yet to see the chai's yet. <laughs> Chepetto. Say, do you like to hunt? And what weapons do you use? All sorts. If they follow the Ronik with the seasons, it makes sense that they would live in tents that can be broken down and transported easily. This tent is made with hide and bones of Ronik. I wonder what else they are used for here. I will speak frankly. We fear the winds of change will soon bring misfortune to the land. The Ronik have made the potential for danger plain. As you may have heard, the temperament has become erratic of late. It's probably the cerulean in the air. A stable man near that place mentioned that. Do you know what has caused this? We have our suspicions. Since others were drawn to this land by Cerulean, Shaolone has undergone a transformation. And the railroads are a part of that. As strong and resilient as they may seem, as they may seem, Ronique are sensitive creatures. The roar of the train as it thunders through the plains may well cause them distress. As my father said, we do not necessarily reject outside influences or innovations, but in this we can't help but worry. Understandably, I thank you for being forthright. This matter concerns not only the Hetero, but all of Shaoloni. Hmm, perhaps we should bring it to the attention of Vau Kuana. Vau Kuana, you say? Oh, Vau Kona, you say? 
We know him only through rumours, but he is apparently... How shall I put this? Hard-headed and aloof. He values technological advancements and efficiency to the detriment of all this. Ah, oh, don't worry, he's learned. M mind your tongue, Geppetto. Ah, oh, don't worry, he's changed. <laughs> While there is a grain of truth to the rumours, he is not nearly as bad as they make, his, make him out to be. His journeys have changed him for the better. He's a bit awkward, so he tends to get misunderstood. He is a passionate man who cares for his people like his sister. His journeys have changed him for the better. So in the course of travelling with him, you witness him change with your own eyes. Marishner fought beside Val Corner in the right of succession. I take her word over rumours. You took part in the right of succession? You're that close to the Dawn Servants? I was grateful for any help, but had no idea I had recruited a bona fide hero. Yeah, that tends to happen. The succession of Dawn Servants filled us with uncertainty for the future, but there is clearly much we do not know. On this particular occasion, the winds of change are not meant to be feared. Now we must open our hearts and minds that we might see Val Kona for who he truly is. Are we going to see his parents sometime? Do you think he might visit someday? Just as his father offered us guidance. I'm hopeful that he will do the same. Wait, which father? Thank you for hearing and allaying our concerns. I'm glad we could speak. As for your timber, we have freshly cut logs near the lake. Please take all that you require. We're terribly grateful. I promise we'll keep the Ronique foremost in our minds as we continue working on the railroad. And if needs be, we'll seek Val Kona's counsel. My thanks again for your time and timber. We shall endeavour to return the favour. I hope to see you again soon. You'll come back, won't you? There is so much I'd like to know about the lands beyond Tural. We must talk again soon. Then, next time perhaps, on another hunt. I'm sure Buklamat will come on that hunt. Alright. Let's see. We have to carry all this back to the station? Don't worry, I have a bomber's bag. Um, we've more than enough timber to fix the ties. Now we need a transporter to the station, which will be a bit more involved than I thought. I didn't expect we'd be given so much. Mind waiting here a spell while I round up a few more hands and a Ronique? I won't be long. Okie dokie. I'm glad that went well, and thankfully, it seems we won't need to make several trips for the timber. One of nature. Complete. 669. That is better than my relic weapon. Oh no. And that is another. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, still a fourth one I need to get. Alright, I think I'm going to end this bit here then. Uh-huh. So I guess next time we help get the timber to the railway. Lovely. Lovely.